How do you save yourself from getting any shock? How do you save your appliances from breaking off? Praveen here is going to answer all of that with the help of the protection devices that Legrand has to offer. Watch till the end. So yeah. Praveen, what is this exactly and how do we use it? So protection devices is basically for uh, a human safety protection when it comes to projects, either a residential projects or a commercial projects. So in production devices, we have distribution boards, okay. we have MCVs, mm -hmm. RCDs mm -hmm. and uh, contractor SPDs. So if we, I mean, let's start from distribution boards. Right. Uh, so as you are aware, we Legra, we are pioneering production devices when it comes to MCVs and DBs. So this DBs, uh, I mean, let me go through this DBs. If you see here, there is no uh, earthing required for door. As this alloy, the nickel, nickel alloy, we call it as, it acts as uh, earthing for the door. Usually okay. in our competition, there will be extra wire uh -huh. uh, for the door earthing. So, we have taken care of this. Uh -huh. And our competition will be providing with IP42 protections. So, IP42 is ingress protection. Okay. And we are providing IP43. This oh. is a polyurethane gasket. Okay. So, which will give IP43 protection for you. Right. So, this is the USP and we do have uh, right from SP and DBs to 7 segment DBs, perface isolation DBs and flexi DBs when it comes to distribution boards. Okay. Whereas in MCVs, so we do have uh, 10KA mm -hmm. uh, breaking capacity, mm -hmm. 10KA MCVs, 16KA and 25K MCBs, right from 0.5 ampere ratings to 125 amps rating. Uh, so, MCBs, I think uh, you are all aware it is overload and short circuit protection. Okay, so if you can elaborate on how it really works and what are the advantages of each of these, uh, our viewers will be able to. Okay, so when it comes to MCVs, it is basically short circuit and overload protection. So, for example, if you are using a 10 ampere rating MCV with 10K capacity, it will withstand to 0 0.02 seconds. Uh, so, 10K means it will go up to, uh, if it is 10 ampere ratings, 10 into 10. So, it will go up to that and it will wait for 0 0.02 seconds and then it will trip. So, okay. because to withstand the new, I mean, uh, uh, the nuisance tripping will not happen when it comes okay. to um, an MCB part. Okay. Uh, so, in MCBs, we do have a single pole, two pole, three pole and four pole, four okay. pole MCBs. Okay. And uh, what is this RCBO and RCCB? Yes. RCCB is basically a earth leakage ELCB. I mean, in some terminology, they'll call as ELCB, earth leakage circuit breaker. It will trip when there is a earth leakage uh, in any of your load. For example, I mean, for human safety, it is 30 milliampere load. If it is more than 30 milliampere where the earth leakage is there, it will trip. So, for okay. human safety. So, example of uh, in a house household uh -huh. utilization, yes. how does it work? So, household utilization, for example, uh, if you are using a 6 ampere socket where you have plugged in your laptop, if there is a leakage in the load, that means on the socket, this it will trip. Okay. Uh, so, that is for human safety as well as your gadget. Oh, okay. For that also, I mean, because when there is a leakage, so we may not be knowing what it will happen to your gadget. So, it will automatically, it will trip. So, and we do have it in 100 MA and 300 MA. 100 mm -hmm. MA is for your, uh, the equipment, we call it, I mean, equipment safety and 300 MA is for your uh, data center uh, projects. Okay. Where, I mean, uh, the safety is required for your racks and uh, server racks, all those things. Got it. And uh, RCBO is the combination of RCCB plus MCB. So, whereas MCB will uh, give protection only for overload and short circuit, RCCB is for earth leakage. RCBO acts as overload, short circuit and earth leakage protection. Okay, superb. So, if uh, I need uh, all kinds of protections, instead of using one MCB, yes. one RCCB, yes. I can just take with one RCBO. RCBO. Yes. It is depending on your uh, project requirement mm -hmm. and the project says, yes, you can use RCBOs. Or there. And uh, what are the other things that we see here? So, this is isolators. Isolators is just a switch. There is no protection. Uh, for example, if you are using a plug and socket, you want a switch to be operated remotely somewhere, there we will give isolator. It is just a switch without any protection. And we do have surge protectors, surge protection devices. Okay. So, when there is a surge, entire year, the gadgets and all those things, it has to be taken care. Correct. So, surge means it'll be, it may be a lighting or when you operate a motor, there will be a harmonics going over there. From that also, you will get a protection. That is not for human safety, it is for your uh, gadgets and appliances. machineries, uh, appliances. Okay. So, surge protectors, we have uh, multifunction energy meters, okay. DIN rail mounted. So, we okay. do have time switch. Time okay. switch is basically, you will align a time. Uh -huh. So, for example, 6 o'clock, the street lights or uh, the light which is outside to how it has to get on yes it can be done with a timer oh superb so does this work on a daily basis i just yeah it is daily timer. basis it is daily basis every evening six to seven if you want a particular light to on it will take care of that 
from okay. 6 to 7 it will get on and uh, after 7 it will automatically it will get off okay. that is the uh, beauty of timer got it and what is this 3x this cube this is yeah this is 3x cube contactors and mm -hmm. if you see here uh, this why contactor is required for a din rail mounted is for example if you are using a timer so timer can withstand only up till 16 ampere of load if it is more than 16 amps yes we will give a contactor so which will act as it will it is it will enhance the load for the timer up till 25 amps 63 amps it will go and these are all indicators okay. r y b indications so for example if you are using a three phase db so three phase current so this will indicate in which phase the current is going r mm -hmm. phase y phase and b phase and again it is din rail mounted it will be accommodated in db only and uh, this is majorly used in uh, bms uh, like building yeah bms building management solutions and more in it projects okay. so where there will be uh, they will be having different phases no? uh, the workstation place so there they'll use which okay. workstation is using which phase it is going on there it will be okay got it and this is analog timer okay uh, so digital timer okay you can set digitally the timing over here uh -huh. and i mean it it operates where the accuracy is uh, close to 95% in this okay, compared so to okay so how uh, does it really help like uh, how say that it... is again timer it is again a timer okay so this is analog timer okay so analog timer is you have to set it manually i mean manually with the help of your hand uh -huh. so which will not be accurate Oh, so whereas okay, okay. here it is digital even if you want at 6.02 that also you can select over there and we do have astronomical timers you know the astronomical timer means the, uh, because i mean the gravity with the help of gravity it will sense and it will uh, it will turn on your uh, lightings wow superb so guys this was uh, very informative and so much about all your protection devices uh, i frankly didn't know about it so I hope this will help you also and if you have any other doubts related to these systems please do visit the Legrand Innoval Center in Bangalore I'm sure Praveen will help you here sure. and if you've liked the content please do share it with your friends and family so they can benefit from it please do not forget to subscribe thank you